It is being called the beginning of the end. The Afghanistan deal promises to end the 18-year-long wait for peace. But it comes at a time when political chaos is brewing inside the war-torn country. Our next report gets you more details. It is called the endless war. For 18 years, Afghanistan has been gripped by the sounds of bullets, bombs and sirens. But now, a deal negotiated by the United States with the Taliban is promising elusive peace. There is an uneasy calm on the streets of Afghanistan. The people are skeptical of the peace deal. Even signing a deal between the United States and the Taliban does not necessarily mean that this is going to end everything in Afghanistan when it comes to violence and using the violence against the people. This process could be successful and there is a, there is a possibility of failing this process. The pessimism is understandable. Afghanistan has been living under the shadow of war for decades now. Many locals don't even know what peace looks like. The fight for power within Afghanistan only adds to the skepticism. A few weeks ago, Ashraf Ghani was declared the winner of the presidential elections. Five months after the vote, he ended up delaying his inauguration, allegedly due to a bitter dispute with his rival. Abdullah Abdullah, the man who challenged Ghani in the September polls, has rejected the results. Abdullah declared that he would form his own inclusive government. Sadly, this process is moving forward in a wrong time for the free Afghanistan. We had a very troubling election in Afghanistan, and as you know, both uh, main runners claimed victory in here, and this unity could definitely uh, give a chance for the Taliban to exploit and invest and push on the disunity of Kabul. But I really hope that the leaders in Afghanistan should also show some sort of maturity to solve these problems in a very non-violent way as soon as possible. Many Afghans feel the bitter past struggle will only benefit the Taliban. They hold sway over more than half of the country. The Taliban rejects the legitimacy of the government in Kabul. Elected leaders have been kept out of the American peace process so far. Something that has not gone down well with voters. The ongoing war is against the Afghan government. If there is peace, it should be lasting. The agreement that the US and Taliban are making is their own deal. But I believe the Afghan government should be involved. The peace deal is expected to lay out a timeline for the withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan. But it does not assure an end to the violence. Rival factions within Afghanistan are supposed to hold a peace dialogue of their own. Until then, life after war remains a distant dream for the people of Afghanistan. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One.